What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna be working on John Ding's car today. If you remember, he drives the USB 2.0 NX200T, the one behind me. Uh, we lowered that on springs. We put a carbon fiber front lip on there. We put a carbon fiber trunk spoiler on there as well as uh, ceramic coating and detailing this whole entire car, if you remember. But today, it's been quite some time, but today he bought a mod. As you can see, completely stock. But he does have V-tuned performance box over here. Put that in like last year. I don't remember making a video. I might have. I don't know. Today we're going to be putting on an intake. So let's do a quick unboxing. So first thing, there it is. AEM. That's the first thing he bought. Just kidding. Ooh. This is some type of velocity stack. Some rubber seals. I don't know why they give us rubber seals, but we'll find out. This is a new stylish hat that is a big trend in Japan. That's what I have on my cone head. Damn, AM always has the same gunmetal intake arm, I've noticed. If you guys wait for like a split second, I'm gonna chop the video and I'll be right back. I looked over the instructions. We're gonna have to remove this whole entire intake assembly right here. Gonna need a Phillips, 10 millimeter, eight millimeter, the standard tools, and let's go. One more time. All right guys, sorry for the crappy video quality and the rushed um, persona of this video. I was hoping to get better footage, but the light is just, it's getting super dark outside, so I couldn't get enough footage. But just follow the instructions on the AEM paper that they gave you, and it should be straightforward. Take your time, don't lose any bolts. It sounds great. Uh, it sounds throatier. You can hear it suck a little better when you're getting it on the throttle. Uh, blow valve is way more noticeable. I'm not sure if that's because of his uh, tune. But the intake, I think it does make a big difference. Um, we're just gonna test drive it back and forth and see how it goes. Good luck to those who have an NX200T or IS200T that's gonna do the same modifications. And like I said, follow the instructions and it's pretty straightforward. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> 